And that phantom we saw earlier! He said he was an ancient king of Hyrule! What else do we know? The element was nowhere to be seen in the Wind Ruins. I guess we'll just have to go to the place marked on our map. But first, you should infuse your sword with that element. We must head for the Elemental Sanctuary! That does sound good, Ezlo. Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. But first, before I go over there, I think I'm gonna... Get... Stop it! <laughs> I think I'm gonna do a little teensy bit of exploring here. Just because I can, that'll be pretty fun. It's kind of a really, really tiny room here. <laughs> Like a very, very tiny room. There we go. We're already done with it. Alright, now what I'm going to do is, because I didn't explore this earlier, there is a teensy tiny hole at the upper right corner of this lake, which is right here. And this has got a prize for us at the end. I think it's an optional thingamabob if I remember correctly. I don't really remember the prize. I don't think it's required. That's why I don't think... Because usually if I remember something, it's important. <laughs> that's, that's the usual course of events with me. And I, I don't think there's uh, there's any point to um, lighting all the torches in this particular cave. They're just there to light the way if for some reason, if you I don't know, have trouble seeing through here. It's pretty bright, even without lighting the torches, and yeah, it's just a red kinstone piece. I mean, that's a good prize, don't get me wrong, but it's not a superb, awesome prize of sorts. So, I'm stuck on the doorway somehow. <laughs> so let's change back to normal, and get something else that I forgot to do that I could have actually done when I... Uh, pass through the lake before uh, You know the spots. Well, I'll be showing you here. It's over by uh, Fifi, you know the shopkeeper's dog. It's over Here see this little pond see it dive It's a piece of heart yeah. Oh, yeah. And I think I think now what I'm gonna do is go over and get the elements fused with my sword, but along the way I'll do a couple of other stuff that I missed back at Hyrule Castle Garden just because I am back in the area, plus get something that I'll now be able to get a lot uh, because I have the lantern. If you. <laughs> Sneak attack! If you recall, I couldn't get an ability on this side of Hyrule Castle Garden because I didn't have a way to light up the area. Well, now I'm pretty sure the answer to this puzzle is pretty obvious. <laughs> so... Bloop! Bloop! Woo! And now I'll chat with them. You are in the presence of the true Master Swordsman of Hyrule Grimblade! If you train with me, you will become a true Master Swordsman! So, would you like to train here? Please. You will learn the meaning of power with this technique. The sword beam! First, when your hearts are full. Second, swing your mighty sword! That's really all there is to it, young swordsman. Do you understand? Yes. It's basically the opposite of the peril beam. This is a real Zelda classic here in that uh, when your health is full, you can shoot stuff from the tip of your sword like so. Let's try it ourselves. This seems very, very difficult to master. But I will... Okay, focus. 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 Yeah, yeah, there we go. Yes, fine work, you know the way. I will now give you this tiger scroll. If you ever forget the technique, you can review it with this scroll. I don't think you'll ever need to review that. <laughs> And got anything else to say? Now there is nothing more I can teach you. Your training from now on is all in your mind. The way of the sword is eternal. Yes. And he does not have a kinstone fusion. So I would check that. So, I am out of here, but not quite. I noticed that I missed a little something over there. You'll notice that there's a little staircase leading to a back wall. I, I don't know how I managed to miss this, because I knew it was there, and I was told by Bobbery18 that, yeah. <laughs> so, 
let's go in there. I don't know how I managed to miss that my first way through, because I'm... It's like that with all the fountains around this area, but... Alas, I just sometimes derp, I, I guess. <laughs> as long as I'm in mini form, I am going to go through here. Uh, this is a little obstacle course of sorts that you're going to have to go through later in order to fuse the sword um, with the new element, because we can't get into the castle the normal way. I'll show you that as I go a little bit later. So let's go in here and get this prize. See, I told you, one's, one's at the back of each fountain. I do not know how I remember that. I mean, how I forgot that, excuse me. And I love how they enlarge the arrow. I mean, how it feels like they enlarge the arrow because they're so tiny. All right, and this is the other fountain that we opened up earlier with a kinstone fusion, which I will also be getting the prizes from uh, a little bit later, though it's not really much of a prize in all honesty because it's... I, I think, if I recall, it's a fairy fountain. So, we've already got a lot of... No, wait, no, maybe it's not... No, wait, we already got the fairy fountain. There's... Okay, there's a heart piece and a fairy fountain in, in with the fountains. I forgot which is which and which one I already did. Hopefully it's the heart piece, in all honesty. <laughs> Alright, so, here we are in stealth mode, so to speak. If you're seen by a guard... Hey, you! None may enter! Kind of sounded like a blade brother. By order of the king, a nun shall pass. Now be gone with you! I, I think the guards would be better off standing at the entrance waves because they were impassable, but now they're moving around. You gotta do some solid snake maneuvers with them like so to get past them. So just be patient and wait for them to go by. No need to rush because you don't want to start from the, from the beginning. Just pick your moments wisely and go, 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 go. Uh, for this one here, you want to go around like this and wait for the guard on the left to turn around follow him now go in this corner you won't be seen don't worry because that guard turns the other way and now you can get through and now i'm going to see what this prize is <laughs> yep it's a fairy fountain oh i'm sad i wish it was the heart piece <laughs> but yeah I, I got that on the other side now remember you've seen on the outside that there is a person I mean, well, persons guarding the entrance to the castle normally, so we have to find our way in. Oh, would you look at that? <laughs> and now we go down. Listen. Yep, Link to the Past music. <laughs> well, a slight remix of it, but a Link to the Past music nonetheless. It's kind of a reference to the castle sewers in that game and now pressing the switch will open this door you might have recalled that this door was closed earlier and now coming to the elemental sanctuary take it away past pk gam past pk gam here remember i said in an earlier part that this symbol on the ground here changes color a bit on the edges and distorts when you would move when viewing on an LCD screen. Yep. <laughs> you can even see the trail behind it. It's like this purplish because it's, you know, it's combining the colors. And yeah, this is one of the reasons why I do not like LCD screens. Anyway, back to the regular video. Thank you, past PK Gam. Your knowledge will go down in history. Anyway, let's go fuse the sword with our elements. Oh, geez, we're trapped again. Well, it's not like we can't get out again. I mean, we have the power of the sword to multiply ourselves and watch the sword transform. It's a blue blade now. And its appearance is ever so slightly different. The power of the water element has infused your blade. The power of this element allows you to split into three copies. And... Okay, I just want to see if there's anything different there just for the fun of it. Alright, so let's split into three. Boop, boop. It works exactly the same as it did before. You just need to stand on more tiles in order to activate it. So, most of the time, you'll always see four tiles together because, obviously, there's four elements, and yeah, you get the picture. <laughs> uh, 
So anyway, from this point, we have a lot of little side quests that we can do, so it would probably be a good idea for me to start doing them, because they will be beneficial for um, future areas in general. And wait, what am I doing here? Wait, wait this is the way out that I can use. But uh, yeah, I, I think it would be nice to go after a ton of heart pieces, if at all possible, to boost up the health, you know, do the kinstone fusions and whatnot. So, let's get thrown out of the castle and get started with this. Let's start at South Hyrule Field, if you don't mind. Now, remember, we were able to shrink down in size after using the Pegasus Boots to hit the tree at full speed to uncover this. Yes, now what we're gonna do is... Wait, can I jump off here? I don't think... Oh, I can. Handy. <laughs> I'm gonna swim through the water. And wait, where is... There it is! Go to this little cave, and you have a heart piece waiting for you, and voila! Oh, I was not wanted to start swimming by pressing the A button immediately when I got into the water. <laughs> and to just get out of here, all you have to do is use the vine, follow the path of the bridge, back to the portal. Next up, we are going over to the Minish Woods. In fact, this is an ideal warp location. Transform! Because we can now cross this water. And we can also cross this wa- oh, This isn't water here. I thought there was water here actually offhand. And I'm going to be exploring all three of these caves just for the fun of it. Well, one of them is... Uh, uh, rather important, actually. Oh, ooh, yeah, oh, dang slugulas and one square ice tiles. No, 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 no. 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 Oh. <laughs> I am flute happy today. <laughs> so there's a red kinstone piece, and there's a piece of hearts. Now I gotta get back out of here very carefully. Well, wait, can I just like. Oh, it doesn't work. I was hoping I'd warp back to the door, but they're making me take the long way back. Oh, oh, and also, oh, over here is a blue kinstone piece. And you might you might guess that the other hole on the right explores the side on the right. And voila. And that's about it here. Jeez. <laughs> That's about it here, so I'll see you at the next location. Over here, at Vale Falls, yeah, it's the north entrance to this place, or I should say the northern entrance to this place. Go over here, because you can now swim, there's a heart piece waiting for you. I don't really think there's much that I can do here right, right, right now, yeah, that's what I thought. So, I'll just see you at the next location. Remember the path to the power bracelets? Remember it? Do you? Do you? Well, I'll just recap you, I suppose. <laughs> Since uh, everything is still open for us to go through, let's take the path, and it should go a lot quicker than it would uh, normally, because we don't have the um, uh, pathway, I mean, the stuff blocked off like we did before. But the reason why you want to go through here again is because... We have the flippers. Yeah, that's pretty important to get something in here. No, not here. I just wanted to check that for the fun of it to see if I could climb up the, the thing. But the real reason why I'm here is because on the other... I played it again! <laughs> on the other side of this is a delightful heart piece. Voila. Now I'm going to have to fare against... The fearsome beasts once more on my way back. Ah! Because as long as I am tiny, wait, can I pass underneath? Oh, I can't pass. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna transform back at the library, so I'll see you there. As I stated before, I would like to get the treasure chest in this cave before it's blocked off forever, even though it's not a necessary thing to get in order to 100% the game, just for the sake of showing you what it is, in case you didn't know what was actually in this chest because you might have missed it yourself. 
So yeah, just go over here and you probably know how to melt this. You, I mean, you got the lantern, you finished the dungeon, you got the shells, and that's all that you get out of that tre uh, tre treasure chest that you can miss out on forever. Over here, at the northeast corner of Caster Wilds, you have a heart piece staring you in the face. But how do you get it? Well, you'll notice that most of these blocks actually push inwards, but they rarely, if ever, push to the side. However, there is one that pushes to the side, and actually I didn't have to reset the room to get the one that pushes to the side, come to think of it. Uh, wait, isn't it this one? Yeah, it's this one. And there you go. Yeah, I didn't have to reset the room at all. So, there we go. Um, before I end off this part, there is one little... Uh, uh, there's one little teeny tiny area, like quite literally a teeny tiny area, that I would like to go to just for fun. Um, it's at the bottom right corner of Caster Wilds. Uh, I think... I think I have access to it. I'm about to see, I guess. Um, you, you obviously have to shrink. That's, that's a given. But this is... it's quite the journey to the spot, and, it's to, and we're gonna be taking a new path that I haven't actually taken before. Well, we went, we went through this before. But what I'm saying is that we didn't take a different route through this before, so now I'll be able to show you how to go through this. Now you'll notice that I can uh, now swim through the puddles because I have ye all swimming... I was gonna say swimming trunks! Swimming apparatuses known as the flippers and wait a second... Uh, this way... yes, definitely this way. There should be a certain body of water that I am able to cross via swimming, and yeah, you go Ooh, wait a second. That's blocking my way and I can't cut it. <laughs> mm, I hope I'm able to get this now, otherwise I'll look pretty silly. Ah, here we go. I thought so. And here's the hole. Go inside the hole, and beware, beware of multiple choices. <laughs> So, let's go up here, grab the red console piece. I don't really don't... I don't remember there being anything important in here, if I recall. I... well, maybe there... Oh, wait, maybe this... I think, actually, this might be a place where there's a heart piece, come to think of it. Ah, stop it! I can't do puzzle with you being mean. <laughs> okay. Um, when it comes to block puzzles like this, what you always want to do is always start at one end and then go to the other. Because remember, you're only able to push a, one block one square. So if you start at the middle, you might push a block that is actually a block that you would want to move to the right or to the left, and then you get yourself stuck. So let's try from this side, because I don't remember which block pushes forward, okay, it's that one, then that means this one must push forward, this one must push to the side. Let's see, start at this side, do the same thing, and this is a logical way to beat the expected trial and error, which isn't actually trial and error at all. So yeah, there is indeed a heart piece here, just as I thought. Well, when I seen the place, that's what I thought, but I wasn't sure before I came in here if there was uh, a heart piece in here. Um, just gonna take a gander around here to see... no, dead end. Alright, so I think I'm gonna end off the part here. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part. I know it kinda ended off suddenly there, but I know this part's gonna end up being sort of long after, even after editing, so yeah! Doo -doo!